Alright, this is like the fifth time trying to make this video, but I keep on making it too long, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Those that issue with stuttering and GTA 5 on PC with the latest 1.27 patch. And in this video, I'm going to just show how you could uh, play the game without stutters, but only in single player mode. So if you uh, want to play the game as um, in single player mode until and wait until they fix it, fully uh, for online then this is how you do it but um, I'm going to show really quick what it does in online mode um, I have MSI after Bruno open right now and I'm going to show you the frame time variances so and please forgive the slow loading I have this game on a hard drive not an SSD because I ran out of SSD so, so I'll let this load load into online mode and then I'll show you what it does. That's for stuttering. So as a reference point, if you haven't seen my past video or any of the things online. So I wish I could just skip these intro videos. Alright, so I'm going into online and I'll let that load. It's almost done loading, I can tell by the VM right now, so... I need to invest into a Google SSD. So long. Oh, right, there we go. So, I'm in online mode. I'll just get into a call and I'll drive around for a little for a second and then I'll alt tab and I'll show you the issue. Um actually before I go any further I'll just show you my settings if that matters or anything. But 1920 by 1080 144 hertz 2x MSAA, everything on high besides the shadows. I have that on softest. I don't like the NVIDIA thing. And I also have post effects on very high instead of culture. And then advanced set the settings off. I'm running a 980 Ti. It's overclocked to 1438. And a 5820K Intel processor. It's a 6 core 12 fed X99 platform. 16 gigs of RAM. Windows 8.1. So, um, and latest driver for the video card. Um, so in online, it just stutters. Um, it's going to be pretty shitty um, trying to show this in video, being that right now I'm hitting like 100 FPS and YouTube. But, uh, I mean, I'm using Shadowplay to record this, and that records at 60 FPS. So it's going to drop frames just because of the the difference in video recording. But and either way, it's going. I'm going to show you in the graph that it is stuttering. So I drove around a little bit. I saw on my end a few stutters, so... Anyway, so I stopped now. I'm gonna alt tab. And as you can see here, this should be a straight line, kinda like this. This is, from this spike to this spike, that was when the game was loading. And here, as you can see, there's spiking. So, if I stop moving my mouse, so there was a spike, it usually sits around 11 milliseconds, and then it's going to spike in a second. Goes up to 25, usually it hits 30, so it's not as bad as it uses those 30. Goes back down to 10 milliseconds, and as you can notice up above that, the frame rate's actually the same. So the frame rate, when it spikes at 30 milliseconds, is at the same FPS as it is when it's at the 10 milliseconds. So that spike is actually showing up as a stutter. Oh, whatever you call it, a hitch end game. So, as you can see, it stutters in my mind. So, I'm going to now show you how to fix that. But, 
the fix only works for a single player. This also happens in single player, but it's not as bad, but with this, it um, it's still there, so with this fix, it actually gets rid of it for the time being in single player only. So there's two ways of doing that. Um, you have to do is, well actually there's only one way, but if you have a Steam version, there's two ways. So, um, you have to add this, uh, launch command, it's a hyphen SC offline only. Um, so in Steam, you open Steam, right click on the game, properties, and go to set launch options. And then you just add that there. And then start the game, and it'll be fine. If you do not have the Steam version, you can always add, uh, the non-Steam version into Steam, and then do it that way. Or if you, for some odd reason, do not like Steam, which I don't understand why, but if you don't want to use it or whatever, you just want to do it the standalone way, uh, right click on your shortcut and go to find file location, or just go to where the directory is, where the GXC is. I bought the Rockstar version. I got it off of Green Man Gaming, so they don't give, they didn't give Steam keys for when this game, for this game for some reason, so. Um, for the standalone version, you could, uh, you have to do is add a command line text file. So, it's a text file and the name is command line. And you put that in now. And in that text file is that same launch command. So I have that in now. Uh, let me close this out. And I'll start the game up again. This time, so I'm going to still say you logged in right here. So I logged in. But when the game pops up, it'll actually on the top right, it'll say that I'm in offline mode. And it's going to boot me right into single player mode. It won't even give me the option to go into single uh, mode. Player. So right there it says signed in and it says offline. So I'll let this load. And again, forget the slow loading. It should load a little faster now because um, I with shadow caching it's some of the stuff's already kinda cached so it shouldn't take too long to load again. Alright so the second indication is how, if you got this to work right is it just like I said it just skips that one screen it just goes right into single player mode so let that load. Hopefully it won't take too long this time. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. So, I'm in the game. Um, once he, um, whoever decides to get up, I'll go to the land. Alright, so. So, let me drive around really quick and then I'll alt tab and I'll show you that graph. The difference. Notice that my FPS right now, because I have uh, grass quality on high, um, I'm hitting 60 FPS right now, so the flame time will be higher than before, being that the higher the FPS, the lower the flame time millisecond is, and vice versa. So. Just keep that in mind. But you will notice that there will be no variances, there will be no stuttering or we call it like spiking in that graph. So just let me drive around a little bit. Alright, so in the Alt tab, go to MSI Afterburner, and before you could still see the graph before it was spiking right there, right? Um, this spike to that spike is me loading the game, and this is me playing it. So as you can see, before Cinnamon 12, and it had those spikes. So I'll go up 
to 18. Later on, it was going from 11 to 30. Right here, stays right around 13, 14, relevant to the FPS. So the higher the FPS, the lower the thing is. But you can, as you can see, there's no spiking. Nice smooth line. So now that's how you, you fix it for the time being. So if you want to play GTA uh, 5 on PC without it um, stuttering for the time being, single player mo only mode, but it's better than nothing um, until Rockstar figures out how to fix this. But um, sorry for this video being so long. It would be a lot faster if I uh, had a fast SSD. Really don't feel like editing the video, so I'm just gonna upload it straight to YouTube. But that's how you fix it. So if you guys want to play single player without stuttering for the time being until they fix it online, uh, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, leave a comment um, and share the video to like forums. Try to embed it and stuff. Try to get this so Rockstar will fix this because I'd like to play online without stuttering. That would be nice. So, anyway, um, see you guys later. Bye bye.